Hey, today we're going to be talking about Warner Enterprises and uh, you know my experiences with them as a company driver. We're going to talk about some advantages and disadvantages of why you may want to come to work for Warner Enterprises. Oh, so start off with a. Uh, you know, these are just my experiences with Warner. This isn't how it happens for every single driver. Everyone, everybody was different. And this is just like my thoughts, you know, <clears throat> advantages, disadvantages of why you would want to come work here. So we'll just like run through the bad, you know, disadvantages. <clears throat> you know, for, for starting out, you know, as a, you know, you know, if this is like the first company you're gonna, you know, come work for. <clears throat> excuse me. You know, their their starting pay isn't really all that great. You know, you know, you know, even if you're gonna come to this company from another company, you know, hopefully you can take some of the experience, and they'll give you a little bit higher pay. But for me, you know, this is my first driving job that I had, and they started out it was like thirty three cents a mile or something like that, and man, you know. To, to get a to get a good paycheck, I man, you you have to run like over thirty five hundred miles to even get a good check. Even on top of the you know, like their training pay, you know, like I, I'm not sure what it is at this moment, but you know when I was in it in uh, two thousand fifteen, you know it was like four hundred fifty dollars a week. Then once you take the taxes out, <clears throat> you know you're you're less than four hundred dollars. So that was, you know, it's hard to live on four hundred dollars. It's still, even if you still have, you know, you got a family at home, you got bills to pay. Not with that. That's why I didn't. I, you know, and there's other companies and, <clears throat> and they pay differently. But you know, for some reason, I w I went with them. And I don't know why, but you know, the training pay for me was at four fifty a week. <clears throat> you know, loads the loads weren't that great as a company driver because you know later I found out that like majority of their good loads there was like on a tier and they would go from like you know team drivers would get like the good loads you know like owner operators you know then there would be like the you know million mile drivers they would get and I swear like the solo company drivers they got whatever was left you know, you know shag loads you know anything under 100 miles you're you're grabbing it and, and you don't have a choice. You can't, you know, as a company driver, you can't, you know, I'm not taking this load. You know, you, you have to take it. You're forced dispatch. And, you know, when you're starting right out in the beginning, you know, you, you don't know the difference. You know, you're just, I just wanted to get every mile I could. And that's what it comes up with, you know. <clears throat> you know, when I, when I first was with the company driver, before I went owner up, I remember I had six different fleet managers within like, oh gosh, nine months, and and that's that, that gets a little hard because you try to build a, you know, relationship with your manager like you know, and they would know like, hey, this guy's good, this guy's bad, you know, you know, if you get to be like one, you know, a good driver, and they're they're gonna give you the good loads, but you know, every day, like, man. I had so many managers that like left the company. I don't know if they got fired or they just left on their own. But yeah, I remember there was six of them within like nine months. You know, it's like one month, it had three, three managers in the same month. It was just like, you get a message, oh, I'm your new manager. What? You know, <laughs> another one? You know, so it's hard to stay on the, you know, on a good level when you're starting out brand new, like every other week. <clears throat> The other thing was like, there was a disadvantage. I thought it was like their shops. You know, Warner has their own shops at their terminals. And anytime you would go in there, even to today, you know, you know, I'm not with the company anymore. But before I left as an owner operator, it, it, it was so annoying. Like you would, you would go to the shop. You know, as a company driver, you didn't have no choice. If they said, you know, get your oil changed here. Or you know, hey, get you need something fixed on the truck. You gotta you gotta take it wherever they tell you. And if you go to the shop, you know, and I'm, I some of the shops were bad, but I, one of them was like notorious. It was in Lithia Springs, Georgia, and you would go there, 
<laughs> and like it would be a Thursday afternoon and you know say I gotta get two new tires or something and I'm like oh, okay we'll get you on the list we'll get to you tomorrow morning tomorrow morning you know just like, you just you're gonna lose a day and, and there was times that you know I ended up having to do a 34 hour restart just because I'm sitting in the shop you know and they would give you like you know you know layover pay and stuff but you know, you, there's no reason to get layover pay because of them you know layover pay is obviously for you know if you get stuck in a shipper or something but not when you're sitting in a shop you know at their own shop at that and the one big thing i, I used to get discouraged <clears throat> it's probably like this for a lot of companies it was the weekend and night dispatch but terrible man you know even if you can get them to answer the phone you know and later you find out that you know majority you know they'll be like i don't know how many thousands of drivers warner had and at night they would have like six seven people working you know maybe on a good night you know and if you're if you're running at night and you got a problem get ready you're gonna be hanging out <laughs> you're on hold for a while so let's talk about some of the advantages with that coming over here but you know I think the one thing that you know that I ended up coming to Warner for was their training program I thought you know I looked up little other programs and other companies and I thought theirs was, was pretty good you know, they you know you had to have 275 hours of drive time before they would test you out and I was able and I, I think I got to like 250 ish or so and then you know they, they took me and uh, had me test it out early so that was a good deal they do help you pay for your driving school like I went to Roadmaster in Tampa and <laughs> You gotta make sure you read the fine print with everything, because they said they helped pay for school. So later I find out that basically all they're doing is like you know they would pay it, but you know <laughs> they would they would like give you like a hundred dollars on your paycheck, you know like like in advance or I don't know how they worded it right now can't remember how they did it but then they would turn around and take it out for school so it's like you know it didn't make no sense and later I find out that it was supposed to be paid within a year but it wasn't paid within a year then I end up having to pay majority of it rest of it because they said that I was supposed to be paying what they're paying they never told me that in the beginning you know <clears throat> so if you if you go to their go there and you go to Roadmaster, make sure you read that fine print. You know, you know. I wish I had the money just to pay outright. I wish I'd have done it right from the beginning. <clears throat> and uh, one of the good thing is they actually get paid weekly. And uh, as a company driver, I believe it was like on Fridays. You, know, you get paid every Friday. <clears throat> so you know, you know, midnight one o'clock, it was always in my bank. So yeah, I didn't have to worry about that. Even like with holidays would roll around they would still it would it would it would be there now on holidays i'm sorry it would be their day prior like if a holiday was on a friday you would get paid on thursday their uh one good thing that they would do is their their driver appreciation you know how they do the the yearly driver appreciation you know when it's like september but warner does it like september then like february they did it like twice a year and they always do giveaways you know hats and blankets and pillows and you know, laundry bags, totes, tote bags, you know, cups, and, you know, you know they give you all that stuff, and they, they feed you all the time, too, so, you know, I thought that was kind of cool, you know, they didn't have to do that crap, they could just, you know, they didn't have to appreciate nothing, they just, you know, hey, get, I'd appreciate you if you got all those miles, and <laughs> get the stuff delivered, but, you know, they, they do, well, I'm sorry, I don't know if they do, but they say they appreciate their drivers, so, you know, I, I, I can care less about hats and crap like that, you know, just like any other driver. <clears throat> yeah, just give me a hamburger. <laughs> so they, they did feed you a lot. And, you know, like their main terminal there in Omaha was like the only terminal that had a cafe. 
and, and you can you know get food straight from there and you're able to just swipe your card your your, your ID badge and they would just take it out of your paycheck so if you're rolled up in there and you're kind of tight that way at least you know you can just take it out of your payroll deduction so they uh, one good thing they do is they, they would pay for all the uh, your tolls and prepass and stuff like that because I know there's other companies out there that you know as a company driver they don't they don't pay for all that so you if you wanted all that as a company driver you'd have to give it yourself so you know they pay for your tolls and your prepass so that was a pretty good deal and their, their equipment is fairly new like I remember my first truck I started in um, 2015 <clears throat> and I ended up getting like a like a 2015 Cascadia and it was a pretty good truck and I liked it then after a while it got sold then they gave me like a 2016 Peterbilt or something so and that was still a really good truck too probably the one good thing I liked about it the most was their terminal locations and like multiple drop yards all over the place you, know, you can use those those you know terminals and drop yards as a safe haven so like if you know you're running short on time or if you know you can make it this far at least you know you, if you if you can make it to the terminal you you're you're guaranteed a parking spot so and they'd have their terminals like you know Lakeland Florida Lithia Springs Georgia uh, Dallas Texas um, Indianapolis Indiana Fontana California El Paso Texas Laredo Texas um, there's a new one in Juliet oh, what was the other one I'm well, probably missing one uh, Allentown Pennsylvania and they just started building it's almost done there was a new one in uh, West Memphis Arkansas <laughs> and everybody knows going through West Memphis nobody wants to park over there now they got a terminal so, so and their, their drop yards are all over the place man so I don't know how many times I stayed at a drop yard you know do my 10 hour break uh, yeah so these are basically what what was you know my what happened to me as a company driver here at Warner Enterprises, you know, in the end, I, I think this is a good company to start with, you know, do your time, you know, year two years, if they help you pay for your school, make sure your school is paid for, then move on, you know, like I was a company driver for probably a year and couple months and uh, I was able actually I because you know, like different accounts paid differently and I was uh, I went from like a Walmart dedicated to another account I can't remember which one it was then, then back to 48 state and I think when I left before I became a lease operator it was I want to say it was like 47 cents a mile so 47 cents a mile is not too terrible bad you know but you know I don't know. I, I think that you know we should probably get paid a whole lot more than forty-seven cents. You know, you know a lot of these drivers out here are, are worth a whole lot more than you know fifty cents a mile. So, but yeah. So this is just what my thoughts were here at Warner Enterprises by the time I was here. So um, that's about it. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope this helps you out if you decide to come here or not. And um, thanks for watching.